Hey y'all, my name is Meredith and today I'm going to be showing you my favorite gluten-free products from Trader Joe's. It has been about nine months since I made a Trader Joe's video, so it's about time I made a new one. Trader Joe's is always bringing out new products. Some of them are gluten-free and I'm here to show you my favorites. Today I'm going to be showing you 10 gluten-free products from Trader Joe's. There are definitely more gluten-free products than just these, but these are some of my 10 favorites. Right now, my favorite gluten-free products from Trader Joe's part one is my most watched video on YouTube. So as long as you guys keep watching these, I'll continue to make them. My last Trader Joe's video, I will link down below so you can go watch that if you haven't already. But let's get started with the latest and greatest gluten-free products from Trader Joe's. I am going to start with my cold food first. I only have one frozen item this time. Trader Joe's hash browns. These are not labeled as gluten-free, but they only have five ingredients. They do contain soy and there's 120 calories in each one. They fry up perfectly in the air fryer. They taste like McDonald's since we can't have McDonald's hash browns. At least you can have these. If you want to make them in the oven, you can make them at 400 degrees and they bake for about 14 minutes. It is really hard to find fresh gluten-free pasta, but luckily Trader Joe's has our back. So this is the Trader Joe's gluten-free egg fettuccine pasta. One of the great things about this pasta is that it doesn't go bad quickly. Today is March 7th and I have to use it or freeze it by April 20th. So you've got some time for it to sit in your fridge. I don't find gluten-free fresh pasta that often. So one of the great things about this is that it only takes three to four minutes for it to cook. If you need a recommendation for sauce for your gluten-free fettuccine pasta, then this is one of my favorites. This is the Trader Giatos Organic Tomato Basil Marinara. I never noticed that it's a Trader Giatos. I guess that's what they named their Italian items. But this is low fat, organic, and it happens to be vegan. So if you decide to serve your fresh gluten-free pasta with this sauce, a match made in heaven. This one is not labeled as gluten-free, but all the ingredients are listed there and the only allergen that it contains is soy. My next item is Trader Joe's cilantro and jalapeno hummus. I didn't think that cilantro, jalapeno, and hummus really went together, but they actually do. This one is labeled as gluten-free and I think I need to open it. For this video, I'm only doing 10 items, but these are the Trader Joe's organic blue corn tortilla chips and they are gluten-free. I have a pretty high spice tolerance. I don't think this is that spicy, but I don't think I'm a good person to ask because I love spice. Since we're talking about spicy, let's talk about Trader Joe's hot sauce. This is the Trader Joe's green dragon hot sauce. If you like green hot sauces like the green Cholula or the green Tabasco, then you are going to have to try this. I really like to put this on Mexican food duh, because of the jalapenos and the tomatillo, but it's probably good on anything. It's good. I would say on a spice level from one to 10, I would give this about a five. My next gluten-free product is the Trader Joe's hamburger buns. I love how soft these are and they have sesame seeds on top, which makes me feel like they're more like normal hamburger buns and not gluten-free ones. I don't know, maybe it's just all in my head. It's time to boycott the frozen, dry, crumbly Booty's gluten-free hamburger buns that everyone seems to carry. Get these, they're soft and they're not gonna let you down. I just realized I have two PB&J items. These are the peanut butter and jelly fruise balls. Sounds weird, but like, what is a fruise ball? I don't know what a fruise ball is. Apparently it's this. There are five of them in this little bag and you can buy them individually. Okay, it says all the yum of a PB&J sandwich is infrused into one little coconut covered incredible ball. Gosh, a lot of puns. To keep your taste buds happy and your body too. Kosher certified, vegan, no added cane sugar, and gluten-free, and the package is recyclable. My next gluten-free PB&J product is these. These are the Trader Joe's PB&J bars. They are gluten-free, says right there. Six of them come in this box. They're a little dry, so, but they're actually pretty good. Let's talk about cereal. This is the gluten-free crunchy almond butter puffs cereal. Gosh, that is a long title. These are really good. For some reason, I feel like there are not a lot of gluten-free cereals that are this shape that are kind of like Cocoa Puffs or Reese's Puffs or anything like that. So this is the closest thing that I have found to any of those cereal textures. Crunchy rice and quinoa puffs coated with almond butter and dusted with powdered sugar and cocoa powder. Last but not least, we have candy. These are the Trader Joe's Super Sour Scandinavian Swimmers. These are really good candy. I'm gonna open them now and I'm gonna try not to eat the whole thing. These are actually super sour. I feel like a lot of times with sour candy, or at least sour gummy candy, they're just coated in sugar. And it's not that sour, but these are actually coated in 
like Sour Patch, Sour Dust or whatever it's called. All right, that is it. Those are my favorite gluten-free products as of right now. There are definitely more than just these 10, but these are my favorites. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love to know what you think if you try any of these products from your local Trader Joe's. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.